It's rude to read at meal times. It arms your spine. Pardon? I don't know what you find to read in the paper. All you get in the paper these days is bad news and ground results. There's a very interesting piece here. Pardon? Where? <laughs> in the first marriages and deaths. First Pardon? marriages <laughs> and deaths. Eee, there's music in them words, isn't there? What's it say? It says here that Moore's wife has snuffed it. <laughs> Nobody told me out about it. Pardon? Are you sure they feed him properly, that old folks or manny? Does he get enough roughage? That's what I wonder, Auntie. They give him too much of this newfangled treatment these days. All this talk about euthanasia. That's no good for him. It's too old for you, for lazy. You haven't got the constitution for it, have you, Stavely? Pardon? Why wasn't I told about Mort's missus? Pardon? Oh, tell him, Carter. Put him in the picture. Well, uh, Auntie Edna fell off a trolley bus. At a request stop. <laughs> she landed on her head. It was just outside the county cricket ground. During the tea interval, they'd only scored one six one for three. So we took her to hospital, but unfortunately, it didn't do her no good. So we had to give her a funeral instead. Oh, I see. Pardon? Well, who's Auntie Agna then? Pardon? My missus. Oh, oh, has she been took badly then? <laughs> Pardon? No, uh, give her my kind regard when next you see her, will you? <laughs> Pardon? It's a sin and a shame the way they treat him in that one. Look at the state of him. Old army great coat and Mickey Mouse braces. <laughs> and what have you got in that box? You're not still carrying your gas mask round with you, are you? <laughs> I bet they've never even bothered to tell him that war's over. Hey, listen to me, Stavely. Hitler's capitulated. There's no need to carry your gas mask round in that box. Pardon? This is my gas mask. Pardon? This is Corporal Parkinson. Pardon? Who? Oh? Corporal Parkinson. Pardon? He's an old soldier. Pardon? These are his ashes. <laughs> Pardon? His ashes? Yeah, I, I carry them about with me wherever I go. He was my oppo, Corporal Parkinson. Pardon? Oh, I see. Well, um... Keep him away from pork pies, will you, Stan? <laughs> I think he could be something of health hazard in that state. <coughs> now then, Auntie Mona, you've not finished eating already, have you? Yes. It's uh, time for our song. Song? At functions involving members of the family, we always give a song. Don't you remember what we sang at your wedding to Edna? No. Abide with me. Oh, aye. Uh, it, it was just like cup final. <laughs> we even had a bit of hooliganism at reception and all. <laughs> and Annie, don't you remember what we sang at your wedding to Les 25 years ago? Oh, I do, Auntie Mona. I do, I do. It was lovely. For those in Paris. <laughs> Well, that's what we'll sing now. Most appropriate, considering... Considering what? Considering your Edna's journey into the great unknown. Across the river and into death's dark veil. Across the mountains and into the valley of the shadow of death. Well, hold on, hold on. It's not charge at light brigade she's in. She, she's <laughs> travelling individual. You make it sound like a bloody package store to Majorca. <laughs> Silence. Show a bit of respect. Ready? The note, if you please, Mary. Don't <laughs> Skulking, 
bleeding paper. You're all that's missing when you most want it. You'll be missing on day of your own funeral, you will. And I know where I'll find you. Sitting on lavvy reading paper. Give <laughs> over. Oh, I do love a good funeral. It makes me feel that romantic. All oh, them pickled onions. <laughs> Just listen to them singing in front parlour. They sang that at our wedding 25 years ago. 25 years. Les. What? Would you fancy a second honeymoon? <laughs> no, thank you. Why not? <laughs> I didn't reckon much at the first one. Why not? <laughs> Breakfast were a disgrace. Breakfast aren't the most important thing on all the honeymoon. There are other considerations. Such as? 